14th race is the $60,000 final in the Illinois Colt Stakes for two-year-old pacing fillies. Number one is Torpedo Express, owned by Jim and Donna Krebs of Cantrell. Trained by Jim Krebs, driven by Tony Morgan. Two is Fox Valley Coquette, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman. Tony Alanya trains, Dale Heitman will drive. Three, Fox Valley Fallon, owned by Nathan Patterson of Lake in the Hills, Illinois. Andy Patterson trains, Eric Ledford will drive. Number four, the next big thing, owned by Michael Dockendorf of Chicago. Mark Franson, the trainer. Brent Holland, the driver. Number five, Flirt and Tell, owned by John Leahy, Anderson Racing Incorporated, and uh, Greg Pichaccini of Illinois and California. Joe Anderson trains. Ryan Anderson will drive. Number six is Foxy Graham, owned by Carol Graham of Salem. Tom Graham is the trainer. Neil Coleman will drive. Number seven is Park Lane Powerful, owned by the Fighting Major Stables of Hoffman Estates. Homer Hochstetler trains, and Dave McGee will drive. Number eight is Boxcar Girl, owned by Joe Pratt, Harold Glasgow, and Ed Meyer. Ron Van Der Ostein trains. Sam Woodger will drive. Number nine is R. Janice J, owned by David Ryan of Viola. Jim Ryan of Alpha, Irv Miller trains, and Andy Miller will drive. And number ten, that's McReba, owned by John Nessa and Forrest Schumacher of Altamont. John Nessa trains, and Dean McGee will drive. Here they come. Well, they're off and pacing. R. Janice J from the outside leaves very quickly for Andy Miller. And R. Janice J on the inside. Torpedo Express on the outside. Those two ba fillies battled out for the lead, but it's R. Janice J with the racetrack. Park Lane powerful on the outside. She looms up to challenge the leader. Torpedo Express is still there third as the two-year-old pacing fillies race into the first turn. Our Janice J gives way now to Park Lane Powerful, and that filly powers to the front to the quarter and 27 and four fives. Park Lane Powerful and Dave McGee. Our Janice J is back there second. Fox are racing the third on the inside is Torpedo Express with Morgan as we race out of the turn and head up the back stretch. And now on the outside with the rush, there goes Fox Valley Coquette. Fox Valley Coquette, the new leader. On the inside now, Torpedo Express, and now has a big move up the back stretch. Fox Valley Coquette leads the Phillies towards the half mile marker. On the outside with the rush, there goes the stable mate, Fox Valley Fallon, and now Fox Valley Fallon takes over. Fox Valley Coquette is back to second. Racing a third along the inside, Park Lane Powerful. On the outside, hung out there fourth. Now is Boxcar Gal. Off the half in 56 and two fifths of a second. It's Fox Valley Fallon and Eric Ledford by a length and a half. Fox Valley Coquette on the inside is there second. Racing third on the outside is Boxcar Gal. Fourth on the inside, needing racing room is Park Lane Powerful. McGreeba's fifth on the outside. She's rewide and has some pace. And also on the move, here comes Foxy Graham. Two-year-old Illinois bred fillies in a big bunch at the head of the stretch. Three quarters and 126 in the fifth. On the inside, Fox Valley Fallon continues to lead the field. On the outside, trying to come on now is Boxcar Gal. Three wide in the stretch, Torpedo Express, and Foxy Graham is gaining on the extreme outside. Torpedo Express coming on, on the inside now, it's Fox Valley Coquette, and Fox Valley Coquette's going to break loose and win it. Torpedo Express was second, unofficially Park Lane Powerful, and Foxy Graham. Into the winner's circle, Fox Valley Coquette, a two-year-old daughter of incredible finale. Bred by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, Illinois. Owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads. Dr. Ken and Pat Walker in the winner's circle here with trainer Tony Alanya and driver Dale Heitman as this filly wins the Illinois State Fair Colt Stake Championship for two-year-old pacing fillies in 155 flat. Picks up $30,000, and Morgan Goatley from Lieutenant Governor Corrine Wood's office making the Lieutenant Governor Corrine Wood trophy presentation to Dr. Ken and Pat Walker, Dale Heitman, Fox Valley Coquette. With me in the winner's circle, the trainer of this fine filly, Fox Valley Coquette. This filly lightly raced, just making her fifth start here this afternoon, fifth lifetime start. She's now won three of those five starts, has never been off the board. She has a second and a third. 
Big Mile Tony Alanya. When did you think you had a good one in Fox Valley Coquette? Um, from about the time uh, we trained her around 220, she started to show us that uh, as she began to progress that she never really got tired. The more you went with her, the more she just kind of kept finding gears. So, I mean, as we went, she just kept going a little bit more, and you'd tap her and ask her for a little more, and she just kept giving it to you. So about from 20 on, we thought we had a pretty nice filly. Well, she went a nice uh, mile the other day in the elimination, winning there in 55. Were you pretty optimistic about your chances today? Yeah, I was real optimistic. Um, as we all know, you know, some things happen, and uh, we were happy when the draw came out and she had drawn the two hole. Um, you know, draw plays a lot into that. We just hoped that they got some fractions up front early and that uh, she stayed out of trouble. We thought she, you know, she could get there if she just got a decent trip out of it, and Dale's done a great job with her, teaching her her first couple starts, taking her off the gate, and, you know, turning her into a nice racehorse, so... On to the coin in the second leg of the Million Dollar Bonus Series? Yes, on to the coin from here. Congratulations to Tony Alanya, the trainer of Fox Valley Coquette.